Richmond Park is the largest of all of the Royal Parks and it is a place to learn about the history that it holds. The Royal connections to this park probably go back further than any of the others, beginning with Edward, 1272 to 1307. When the area was known as the Manor of Sheen, the name was changed to Richmond during Henry VII's reign. In 1625, Charles I brought his court to Richmond Palace to escape the plague in London and turned it into a park for the red and fallow deer. Ye who from London's smoke and turmoil fly, to see a purer air and a brighter sky, think of the bird who dwelt in yonder dell, who sang so sweetly what he loved so well. Think, as you gaze on these luxuriant bowers, here Thompson loved the sunshine and the flowers. He who could paint in all their varied forms, April's young bloom, December's dreary storms. By yon fair stream, which calmly glides along, Pure as his life, and lovely as his song, there oft he rode. In yonder churchyard lies all the deathless bard that ever dies. For here his gentle spirit lingers still, in yon sweet vale on this enchanted hill, flinging a holier interest o'er the grove, stirring the heart to poetry and love, bidding us prize the favourite scenes he trod, and view in nature's beauties, nature's God. The History of Poets Corner is installed at a viewpoint overlooking Petersham Park in the area known as Poets Corner. Built in 1994, inscribed with the lines by James Thompson, an 18th century Scottish poet. Pen Ponds, a lake divided in two by a causeway, was dug in 1746 and is now a good place to see water birds. In the 19th century, several small woods were added. These include Sidmouth Wood and the ornamental Isabella Plantation, both of which are fenced to keep out the deer. The different types of wildlife that you can find in the ponds are the tufted duck, the mandarin duck, pond duck, and Egyptian geese and also Canadian geese.